What a twist it was. Yes. Yes, it was. What a twist it was of um, this week's Once Upon a Time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the 102 episode. Oh, it's 23 episodes. But, yeah, whoa. What an episode it was. It was fantastic, amazing, brilliant, awesome, and epic, yes. It was amazing. And awesome at the same time. <clears throat> it was, it was a great episode. Yes. Uh, what was it called? Um, Devil's Do, yes. Hades is a freaking dick. I'm saying this because he is, he's a freaking dick. He's a freaking dick, a massive dick. The actors are great. He's a great. He's one of. He's the fearless um, um, villain in this series. In, the, in all of the series of Once Upon a Time, yeah, he's a massive dick. He's just um, got an put another twist on him, another character now. Yes, yes, it was a great episode. Fantastic and amazing. We saw Rumpel's past again. Uh, well, we saw and what was passed in the second in this episode. Oh yeah, me with his um, ex-wife, of course. And um, oh yeah, and oh yeah, and um, we had the twist. Yes, yes. One Paul killed um, his ex-wife. Um, yes, um, Hades and um, put. Three names, Snow White, Emma and Regina. And so they have to stay in the underworld, apparently. Yeah. What a massive dick. Oh yeah, and um One Paul um, works for Hades now. And so and he wants his um second child and yeah, Bella's pregnant, of course. And yeah. Hades wants um his second child. Massive dick. Putting that on my favourite characters. Yeah, one pool and Belle is my favourite characters. You get me? Yeah. Team Bella. Yeah. Team, team Bella. Yeah. Boom. Um, yeah, um, directed by um, Alec Wiley and written by Jane Espin. Yeah, it was a great episode. It was so amazing. And fantastic at the same time. Yes. Hello darling. Yeah. Quella and uh, meets Regina again. Oh yes. And yes, Quella wants her, her help. Yeah, seriously. But yeah, it was a great episode. Amazing, fantastic and epic and awesome at the same time. It was and shocking as well. It is your fucking dick. I don't mean it really, but the character is a massive dick. Seriously. He is, he's massive dick, he's put a twist on last week's episode and now he's just put a twist on this week's episode, yeah, yes, oh yeah, now he works with Hades now, oh, yes, because he killed his ex-wife, and yeah, they both shout rumble, and, well, what's them? yeah, many are, um, um, said Emma, and Rumpel said Emma, and just killed um, Melio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He done that shit. He's back to his own roots. So yeah. So here's the synopsis of Rumpel's um, past. Yes. In the Triumph Forest, Rumpel and Melio argue over his. Um, Powerless, and but they lose sight of Belfire, who is poisoned by a snake. Desperate to come up with money, Mero conjures with a Rumpel to come up with a plan to steal Antidote from a healer. The plan, and he heads to the healer to kill him, who surprised him with Antidote on the condition that he made a deal to give Falcon his second unborn child. While at the same time, Hook showed up the traveling and saved Mero from a drunk and pay. Patient. After Belfire was cured, Mira was furious upon learning of the deal Rumpel made. Unfortunately, when Rumpel became the Dark One, he returned to see Fergana and killed him, and which vowed the contract. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So, 
Hmm. Now on to the underworld. Hades has gone into up to it um into point with Hook over the ladders refusing to pick three people three people to stay behind. So Hades converts him to the river of the lost souls. Um Hook is then chained up and hanged by Hades whose mean it means business back on the pawn shop. Gold gets a message from Pan who left him is a flute for him to call and then the conjures up a crystal ball so he can see Bell but the ball is too hot that, that he breaks. He then joins Emma, Regina and Robin as he tell tells Emma he knows of one person who can help them but finds his late wife Maria who is um, tending to the school of children. When Gold includes Maria to Emma he's surprised to see Maria knows about how fall in love with Neil and Hook yet. Yeah. That was just awkward, that, that bit, that was funny. The three then head to Emma's house and pretend um, a protection spell that leads to Hayes' lair, but when they reach it, it only enters the chamber. It only, uh, Emma enters the chamber and she's Hook and attempts to rescue him. Emma interrupts, saves Hook from being drowned from the Green River. At um, Granny's diner, Regina encounters Cruella, who agrees to help her with a map of Semtis, and it's and adds that it, if the grain sites were pointing forward, the souls moved on. When Snow and Regina arrive to Daniel's tombstone, Regina discover he has moved on and starts to feel better after she brought an injury horseback to the um, hoofs. Back at the boat, Gold learns from Mary that her unfinished business was with, was with Bellfire, was helping to move on, and the two agree to be civil for for now. However, the moment is interrupted by Hayes to freeze Mary, who wants to make the deal with Gold. Yes, double TF. During the conversation, Hayes wants Gold to get rid of everyone in exchange for Gold returning to the living when. Gold returned to Mirna and unfreeze um, her when she knew Hayes was there as Gold was forced to by Hayes to make the boat disappear and blast Mirna out into the river of the Lost Souls when she calls Emma out as Emma and Hook arrives. Gold is branded um, a lie and expecting Mirna was them when they save Hook's life. Everyone are reunited and Hook forgives Gold as Emma appears to allow them her heart to split in two but Regina is blocked by the protection spell. It turns out that Hayes has personally picked Regina, Snow and Emma as the living souls. He wants to keep the keep in the underworld. Gold then plays a visit to Hayes who learns he has broke his promise to let him go back to Storybrook. It turns out that Hayes find out about this crystal ball which is revealed that Bell is pregnant and now he's planning to make gold pay as he bought Ferdrat back with it, the contract to cash in on the deal with gold made with a healer when he had to save Belfire. Expected Hayes had Falcon sign it over again, which means the humble child is now Hayes and and gold is now under mercy. Yes. Oh yes it is. This was a great episode it was fantastic amazing um devil's Jew, and brilliant and awesome at the same time it was freaking fantastic hades is still it is now a massive dick what he's done to my favorite characters seriously one ball and bell and yeah it was just just wow and fantastic at the same time so the verdict of um devil's Jew. I'm going to give it nine point <clears throat> nine point two, actually nine point four, nine point five out of ten because it was really, really good and awesome. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome once upon a time reviews. Once upon a time continues the next next Sunday at eight seven uh, at eight seven central on. Um, ABC, so yeah, don't miss that. It's gonna be a brilliant episode. 
so it's going to be a brilliant episode. So, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I gave it 9.5 out of 10. Coming up next is Avengers Ultron Revolution. Bye, guys.